Welcome back, Big Time Eaters, and welcome back to Big Time Menus. And for some reason, we just gotta try all the dogs, the sausages, and burgers here at Dog House. So let's go check it out, get some glizzies, and you know, Ezra loves glizzy, so we're gonna find out. Anyways, so I've seen pictures, I've heard lots of good things. Let's go see what's up with the glizzies over at Dog House. Come on, let's, let's go. go, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the dogs, we got the burgers, we got the brats, we got everything, chicken too. We just have an array of food that we gotta get into. Nezra, where should we start? It's definitely bigger and more timer, I must say, and it's about to get more eaterer. So Very. we are at the dog house, so I'm thinking we start with some dogs. What's, which one's looking good to you? Okay, so we have three of the dogs right here. First, we have the Soul Cali, the Cowboy, and the Old Town. Guys, there's a lot going on in each one of them, so we're gonna have to bite into it before we can even tell you what, yeah. what they're talking about. So Cali, especially made for you, more vegetables. More, more vegetables and more and California, like me. Cowboy looks like it's got fried onion, barbecue, as well as some cheddar sauce. And then the Old Town jalapeno, some chipotle aioli, a little Parmesan over the top, as well as grilled onions. I kind of wanted to grab the veggie when I came You wanted lie. to grab the veggie? That's, that's so unheard of of you. No, I'll go Cowboy. Cheers, man. Wait. Huh? Oh, we can you? trade. Oh, okay, okay. I hate, I mean, I love vegetables. <laughs> I right. love vegetables, okay. Cheers? I did. We cheers the boxes. <laughs> we did, we did. Mm. So that, we're off to a very interesting start. The So Cali, it has a bunch of vegetables, so you have that nice freshness, and then a nice crunch of the fried onions, but this is what really makes it stand out to me. This tomato basil aioli is really good. Brings a nice element of flavor, freshness, earthiness, really good. The cowboy is really making me feel like, well, I'm in my Western days. Guys, you get the, the crispy onions, the barbecue sauce, it's delicious. Everything else has a nice crunch to it too. This one is magnificent and it has like a sweet and savory taste. That barbecue sauce is sweet, it's nice. And I, what I love too, is that all their dogs come with this King's Hawaiian buns, right? Wow. So it's nice, soft, and it's sweet. Everything's sweet. All right, guys, so next up, we've got the Old Town, topped with jalapeno, that chipotle, grilled onions, and it's looking good. Ah! The glizzy's powerful. The glizzy's very powerful. Cheers, right, my man. friends. Cheers. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of smokiness to that bite, and the jalapeno is definitely kicking. So are we, are we doing okay? Yeah, I need a medic, that spice. Ooh. Yeah, the jalapeno is kicking. Definitely a lot of kick. Now it's not for the faint of heart. If you're, if you're afraid of spice, you can probably skip that one. For me, I do like spice. The flavor is on point. You get the nice smokiness, that balance of the sweetness of the Hawaiian roll, and of course, that premium sausage. All right, guys, so we've demolished one tray of glizzies. So now let's move on to the ringer. This is the ringer right here. Topped with four of those Hawaiian buns, the sweet buns. Yeah. Onion rings, barbecue sauce, bacon, and the smash burgers. Mm -mm -mm. Honestly, it looks really good. It's a huge patty, a lot of surface area. Yep. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be big flavor. Efficient at the if, split. If your heart desires to your heart's content. Cheers, man. Mm. Whoa, I was not expecting all that flavor, man. Burger, wow. so juicy. This is a classic combination for, for burgers. Barbecue sauce, onion ring, Bacon, cheese, really good. And again, the King's Hawaiian roll coming in clutch with that sweetness. Barbecue sauce, sweet roll, bacon, fried. I love it. You guys love it. That's why we're here. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, moving on next. We got some chicken sandwiches we got to get into. This one is the Beyond Bad Mother Clucker. So this is the, the meat substitute. And this is the Bad Mother Clucker fried chicken. Looks like they've got some sort of ranch on there and then some sort of sweet and spicy drizzle over the top. So yeah. let's see what's up. It's looking better than a mother clucker. Looking like a bad mother clucker. You wanna go beyond? Yeah, I'm trying to ascend. <laughs> I'm trying to ascend in yeah. So it looks like they just put the tenders on there. It's not like a traditional chicken sandwich where it's one piece. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So juicy, delicious tender, it's nice. But the thing that I like, is that I swear, I can't even tell it's not chicken. Like, I just can't believe it's not chicken. It might as well be chicken. Really? Yeah, it's mm. one of those. Now, honestly, I, I don't taste the drop off, but you can tell. But like, it's pretty good. Super crunchy, crisp fried chicken. 
nice crunch of the pickles. Really good. We're moving on to the next array of glizzies. Over here, we've got the Beyond Broth, the Downtown, and then the traditional corn dog. You wanna break these down? Yes, let's break it down. So right here, obviously, corn dog fried in the batter. What else could you say? It's your good old comfort classic. Yeah, so we've got the Downtown here. We've got ketchup, mustard, mayo, it looks like, as well as some roasted peppers and sauteed onions. And then the Beyond Brat, which it looks like they have some type of mustard on it, sauerkraut and bratwurst that is beyond this the universe. Beyond. An ascension and We're not really me. gonna ascend tonight? Really gonna ascend, because it's not me. But it's yeah. okay, we like it still, so we'll go in. So which one's, which one's uh, resonating with you? This is resonating okay. with me, so. <laughs> Curious to see what the Beyond Glizzy is like. Let me go in raw dog style. No, no ketchup? No, That's right down. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm, nice crispy batter on the outside. The thing that I noticed from the start up front, it's really greasy. So that oil's all over it for sure. But it's uh, got nice flavors on the inside. You definitely can't forget the ketchup, and I'm forgetting it, so. You definitely can't forget the ketchup, but I'm forgetting you it. You know, you know. <laughs> what does that mean? The Beyond Glizzy, I'm not going to hold you. It's very different than a traditional sausage, but it is also seasoned and spiced in a very unique way. So it actually works pretty well. Sauerkraut's good, mustard's good. The glizzy itself, the texture's a little, it's a little softer. There's not as much chew as you would have with regular meat, but it's actually seasoned very well. It's almost like a chorizo in a way, like texturally. Really good though, not mad at it. And moving into the downtown, what did Malcolm Moore say? Downtown, remember that song or no? Yeah. Oh. So this is actually, it looks like a bacon wrapped sausage now that we ripped it open here. That's you see good. That? Oh, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Nice saltiness from that bacon. And those roasted peppers, bro. We're in luck. Not spicy roasted peppers for Denzel. Those roasted peppers. It's hot, it's hot. Gotcha. Yep, we're in luck. We're definitely in luck. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. So moving back into Burger Central, we've got their standard cheeseburger. Looks like they use a white cheddar or white American, pickles, lettuce, and some sort of Thousand Island. Then we've got the little mule, which looks like it's got those jalapenos. Uh, sunny side up egg, that same white American. And then on the bottom, some sort of Thousand Island or chipotle aioli and pickles. So, well, hopefully the little mule tastes like a Moscow mule. Bruh. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it doesn't taste like a I Moscow hope. mule. All right, I'm just trying to get friend. drunk. Mmm, mm. classic cheeseburger. So soft, the bread, yet again. The meat coming through, shining. Nice seasoning on it. You can sell salted and pepper. And also, you get the pickles, the lettuce. It literally is just a classic cheeseburger. Mmm, and it's nice American cheese. Delicious. As far as the little mule over here, guys, you get that nice sunny side up egg, runny egg yolk running down your arm. Nice sweetness from the roll. Balances very well with the jalapeno, actually and that nice meatiness from the Smash Burger itself. Really flavorful stuff. Recommend this one as far as burgers go. Well, I guess we got two more, so I don't want to speak too soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reloaded our stack of napkins and we're ready to continue on this journey. Yes. Where should we go to next, man? You know, this wings, it's just call my name. I agree, those those wings really look solid. They have been looking really good, so. Let's give it a go. Good and then stuff, well. alongside the wings, we got their Chipotle honey flavor. And then this is the Fonz Glizzy. And then this is the hot chick chicken sandwich. Can't forget the ranch. Never, never. Never, never, never. Is this ranch? Yeah. Yep. Not blue cheese. Definitely not blue cheese. Comment down below. Ranch or blue cheese? What do blue you guys cheese. prefer? Blue cheese? Blue cheese. Definitely right. blue cheese. All right. I'm going to go for a, a flat. Cheers. Mm, so juicy. The sweet flavors. Oh my gosh. Delicious. I just. You go ahead and describe it. Yeah, I just so want to keep eating it. You have the nice smokiness, a little bit of heat from the chipotle, but it's really more sweet than yeah. anything. That honey flavor really balances it out well. And then the nice crunchy exterior, solid wing. It's very subtle, that chipotle. So we got the fonds here. You don't know about Italian sausages. Well, we're about to put one in your face in the camera. So this has <laughs> mozzarella, pastrami, and it's a spicy Italian sausage at the bottom. So I'm gonna give this a go while you're trying out, V. This is the hot chick. So this is their iteration of like a spicy chicken sandwich. They've got the chipotle aioli. They've got a slaw on the bottom. Oh, it's kind of, this one's juicy. Mm. 
nice smokiness from that Italian sausage. Mozzarella comes on top, pairs perfectly with it. And what I like about these ones, the buns, it's like they crisp just the one side so you can melt the pastrami and the cheese together. Mm. So you get a nice crunch too. The hot chick, you gotta unhinge your jaw to take a bite out of this sandwich. Super crispy chicken, nice little bit of, of spiciness. That slaw brings a nice level of creaminess and kind of kicks down the heat a little bit. And then the acidity from the pickle. We've got their Reservoir Hog, Das Brat, and the T-Mex. Guys, <laughs> these ones are looking almost... These are looking unique. Yeah. Especially these two. That one, I mean that too. But it looks like the T-Mex, it almost looks like a Tex-Mex uh, bratwurst, right? Yep. You got the peppers on top, jalapenos, looks, looks like, like lettuce. Yeah. Looks like a coleslaw too, honestly. And then it looks yeah, like that there's looks like a little a bit of right that chipotle aioli as well. And then, I think there's guacamole too. Is there? Yeah, look. Oh, slices of avocado? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right, so that's fully loaded. I'm going for the Das Brat. All right, I'll go for the I'll go for the T-Mex. This is going to be a big body bite, a big Tonka bite. It's more timer and more eater. And more eater. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Cheers. Cheers. Touch tips, not tips. Touch tips, not lips, all right? I can't eat this anymore. I gotta like hide myself. Wow. Mm, this one is not for the faint of heart. Very sour. Yeah. Very sour. That mustard, it's pungent, very tart, and then the sauerkraut as well. Super sour, Yeah. but it's really good. If you like that, that's for you. I'm iffy, I'm on the fence about it, but not a fan of the brats, dude. Oh, I love brats. It's that sauerkraut. Okay. But I like it. This has a lot of moving parts to so a lot of elements. As we mentioned, it's got that avocado, it's got the slaw, it's got the chipotle, pickled jalapenos, as well as roasted red peppers. The sausage in there, I think one of their hot links. There's a lot of spice, but it's kind of leveled out by slaw and then the avocado. Solid bite, smokiness. Looking at the reservoir hog, it's got mustard, that slaw, as well as their chili. So this is an interesting combination. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I mean, I get hit with that mustard instantly. Yeah. And I taste the chili. It's like a chili cheese dog. Honestly, not even a chili cheese dog, just a chili dog. But you get the mustard, you get the chili. Some sort of slaw. Yeah, it's like a slaw. It's, it's good though. It's good. Don't mistake my face. Don't mistake this face of a man that's in agony and pain. Yeah, guys, that one's definitely one of the more unique options. Like Denzel said, you definitely get the mustard flavor very on the very forefront. I do like beef chili, and then it looks to be another one of those sausages, not the actual hot dog, so very interesting. Pretty yeah. good. The final rounds, ladies and gentlemen, we've got burgers, glizzies. We got we corn dizzies, too. We have the hangover. More of the sweet, delicious, soft buns. Topped with the egg, some bacon, and it looks like some barbecue, and I don't know if there's chili at the bottom. By the looks of it, there might be, but we're gonna have to find out when we bite it, so. Bratwurst, corn dog. So, same thing as a corn dog, but using a bratwurst instead. So, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Whoa, whoa. You're a little excited whoa, over there. The egg just tried to attack. Do you guys see that? Wow, the chili, so nice. It's like runny. That egg that exploded everywhere, really good. And the meat, all their smash burgers have been really good, guys. I like it that it's flat. And just the bacon, it's all wonderful. And that white American cheese, really good. All right, guys, as far as the bratwurst corn dog goes, you get that nice crunchy exterior of the batter. And the bratwurst is spiced a little bit differently than I'm accustomed to, but it, it, is, it is good. I do think in this format, corn dog style, I would prefer just a regular hot dog. Mm -hmm. Balance of flavors is a little bit weird. I do like the crunchy exterior. I do like the bratwurst, but together, a little bit strange. All right, moving in to their ah, holy, holy aioli. aioli. This comes with bacon, sauteed onions, as well as their garlic aioli. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Mm. Wow. That might be the one. Mm -hmm. Not the two, but the one. Huge garlic flavor from that aioli. Nice saltiness from the cheese, as well as that bacon. Then, on the back end, you get the sweetness of the onion, the sweetness of the buns. Wow. Solid. This one is calling my name. I think that's my favorite. And I think it's because of that huge garlic flavor, yeah. like as you're saying. That huge aioli flavor. Mm -hmm. Huge aioli. And I mean huge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, final round. We've got here, Chili the Kid. Chili Idol. And then I'm so veggie. I guess I'm Rich the Kid. I mean, Chili the Kid. I'm kind of glizzed out right now. I can't lie. I'm very glizzed out. All right, so Chili my... Idol. This looks like the classic chili cheese dog. Yeah, the chili, the raw onion, and then, of course, the cheese whiz, cheese sauce. Chili the Kid looks like classic chili dog. You got your chili. You got... Oh, this looks like an upgraded mode. This is the classic. That's the upgrade. This Chili the Kid looks like your comforting classic <laughs> chili like dog. It looks like a symphony. It looks like a classic chili dog. 
but it evolved. It learned how to get better. It was in the mental lab. It was self-improving. Who's going to carry the boat? Because now, look what we got. We got some American cheese on it. We got some uh, 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 chipotle mayo something. I don't know. Chipotle it's orange, aioli. though. We got some chipotle aioli or something. Blah, blah, blah. And then we got some chili <laughs> on it, right? And then we also got the good old crunchy onions. This one has everything that I would love in the wife. Chili and cheese and the fried onions. All right, that's <laughs> interesting, interesting pairing. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, cheers, my friend. Mm. I mean, chili dog, I wasn't quite familiar with your game. Sorry, I think I am now. That is that spicy chipotle aioli. You get the nice chili, the nice crunch from the onions. Nice hot dog. As far as chili idol, like I said, it is kind of like your classic chili cheese dog. And you can't really go wrong. The flavor profile's there. But I do love, again, we've been saying it all video, but the King's Hawaiian Roll brings that nice level of sweetness, a little bit of crunch as they brown it on the exterior. Just solid. Really good. Finishing it all off with the so veggie. With our salad. Yep, this, is, yeah, with our, salad. this is how we feel better about eating after all of that. <laughs> so it's the Beyond Meat Quizzy, tomato basil aioli, crispy fried onions, tomato, arugula, avocado. That one tastes like straight vegetables and straight vintage kale. Go to hell. All of that. It's still really good, but man, it's almost like you're just taking a bite into a salad. See, the difference, the thing about that Beyond Glizzy, it's like it's definitely nowhere near a Glizzy, right? That's why I'm not liking it. It's just like its own separate entity. And it's hard to describe it, but it's just not a Glizzy. Yeah. It's just beyond the Glizzy, I guess. Flavor profile is completely different. It is almost like chorizo rather than and a hot dog sausage. The flavor though too, the, the spices they use in it, it doesn't taste like a hot oh, dog. Oh yeah, definitely yeah, those spices too. As far as, since I had tried both the So Veggie and then the So Cali, I think I do prefer the, the So Cali a little bit just because the veggie beyond meat throws out the flavor a little bit. But ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap this meal up and give you our final thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, we have returned from our battle our long journey of reviewing the doghouse menu, and we're here to give you our thoughts. There's a little bit of something for everybody, whether it's you like burgers, you like chicken, you like corn dogs, you like vegetable, beyond foods. <laughs> it's all here for you, so you can't go wrong. Honestly, flavors around the board, everything is really good, and it's unique. So there literally is something for everybody. So you gotta try one of these. Yeah, different flavor profiles, as Denzel said. So there is definitely something for everyone. The things that are highlights for me are definitely the burgers. I was kind of surprised. The smash burger onto the King's Hawaiian roll, really good. Honestly, all of the options are really good. Yeah. As far as the, the glizzies go, my favorites gotta be, I would say the ones with the chili cheese were pretty good. I also like the bratwurst. And their wings, honestly, are a surprise as well. Yeah, they're, the wings they're pretty, pretty good. good. Battered well, the, the flavor of the sauce is good. Disclaimer, guys, none of this food is being wasted. We're sharing it with friends and family. It's all going to somewhere, someone's stomach, all right? Yeah. So don't worry about that. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. You know, head on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for checking us out, showing us love and support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and tune in for the next Big Time Menus as well as the Big Time Reviews. Join the BTE universe. Let us know what menu you want us to review next, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.